Hey guys, you're back with your boy Dunky for season four, episode nineteen of Vikings, and this episode was called "On the Eve." So I'm guessing on this is just man. I'm I'm guessing the next episode is uh, what's his name, the King of Wessex. Done. Next episode. This is on the eve. So this must be on the eve of killing that motherfucker. Yeah. Oh man. All right. So I want to see how you know they fuck King Ayla up, and you see um. Iva, you see Iva full staring at him. He wants to see that. He wants to see that soul leave out of the eyes. You know, I don't get that. I mean, what are you going to look for, man? If it's your enemy, just kill him. But what do I know? If it is your enemy, enemy, I suppose you would get a bit of pleasure from hurting them. All right. Well, on the eve, let's go. Here we go. What's that? Oh, I've got no idea what's about to happen. I want to see what when the other king finds out what's going on. You got any subtitles? Hey, I heard that talking horse again. That's a talking horse. She looks so cool, man. I love the dark makeup around the eyes. I love it, man. It looks so cool. Oh, she looks so tough, man. Torvi, yeah. Who just came in? I'm too busy looking at Torvi and how gangster she looks. She's got the cornrows. And she looks like she can fight, too. Who the fuck are they? Still not interested in buying anything. They want to take over, man. Oh, Torvi, man. Go, man. I want to see how well she can fight. Really? Ten guys? You want to take over the place? You fucking idiots. Yeah, someone will still be alive. Dude, Lagatha's... Man, this shit's going off, man. Is this someone's spreading, carrying word of King Ayla? They should have taken someone, a hostage to watch. The bishop was in battle with King Ayla. Oh, the bishop. Athelwolf is is a warrior though. Was it the sons of Ragnar Lothbrok? Yes, motherfucker. How big is their army? How many warriors? Hundreds? Thousands? Tell me. You're a bishop. Your job is to bullshit. You should have said billions. There's billions of them. May you rest in peace. May you rest in peace, you piece of shit. <laughs> How are you feeling now, buddy? <laughs> Give the bishop. <laughs> this messenger guy's just going. Is defeated. I want to get the fuck out of here. I'll go to Fran. For all our sakes. Especially your the sake, motherfucker. I charge you, my son, to go out and face it. I said, Father, since you've given me command, then let me exercise it. Yeah, yeah shut Father, the fuck up. I want to fight with you. I won't risk the lives of either of you. You fucking you boys, future. man. You'll get killed. My Jews to protect you. Five seconds. Got a bed. If you forgive me, I have messengers to dispatch. I reckon the king's getting old, man. To go back to him, my love, he will need strength and brilliance. Shut the fuck mind. up. She'll he just drag him down. As he must forgive you. No. Need, then I shall have to command you. Being your king. Dude, she's used to freedom, man. As if Athelwolf will believe anything with her. Freed. I know Alfred lives because I know King Alfred. He should be very proud. I don't give a shit. I don't like her. I don't give a shit. I find her immoral. Bjorn looks so pissed off and angry. Eckbert, I can't stand Eckbert, man. Tell me, is there anyone out there? I mean, I'm not saying you don't admire him. I admire him. But is there anyone that likes him? Do you like him? Look at him. My husband. Oh, shut up. Don't touch me, bitch. There is a season and a time for every purpose under the sun. A time to love 
the time to hate. All right, mate. Let's not go through all the lyrics. The time of peace. Now this is the time of war. In other words, he's going, save me, save me. Piece of shit. Nice, nice riding of the horse, brother. I don't think they can truly trouble us. You don't know enough, Ivar. Uh, Come on. If Bjorn's talking to you, shut the fuck up. I can only see what my eyes tell me, Bjorn. And shut the fuck up. Running away from our gods. What is a warrior without his honor? I don't know. You tell me, brother. And tell me again, how many battles have you fought? He told me I was the one who would act for him. If that's what you want to think, then think it. <laughs> Flocky so lots. The grunting of the little pigs was all about. Go, Flocky, mate. Flocky's just like, I don't give a fuck if you're an air man. You sound like a bunch of bitches. If Ivor was just looked a little bit tougher, he does mad stares and shit, but. You know, he just has to do it, be a bit tougher. Because he's staring at me like that. If I'm one of his brothers, I'm like, dude, I'm going to fucking chop one of your, your right hand off just to make sure. Because lots of these leaders, you know, the men are like, yeah, we follow this leader. But lots of the times they've never even s fucking seen him, you know. Between um, three or four thousand. That's what it looked like to me. Is that all? seen anything like this before. Is it your belief that they're set upon attacking my father's kingdom? He might they wait. For the death of their father. They would seek revenge against my father. I wonder if Aetherwolf doesn't... Move towards ...doesn't give a shit. I think a destiny awaits us there. He doesn't love his father. Floki, get up! She's gone. Tanatus is gone. Of course she's fucking gone. Can she speak any of the language yet? If Floki finds her... I reckon he might kill her. One less problem. He'll. F I was about to say he'll find out and kill her, and she'll find out and kill him. And that's how he'll die. Or maybe this is where he actually bonds with her. He'll bond. She'll convert him to Islam, man. She's like more comfortable with with Flocky than her. Man. She's more comfortable with Flock. Flocky doesn't want her. She doesn't want to be there. It's just his missus. Lagoth has got to defend. They're here. Motherfuckers. Lagatha, she's worth ten men, so she'll be able to take out ten people. <laughs> Torvi with the crossbow. Torvi, you have to take out 15. It's be like, whoever attacks us, we're going for your landsmen. Oh, nice one. Except he held his forehead. He should have been holding a extremely bleeding nose, so that was a bit of a foul there. Who's this? Is this fucking bacon face? Oh, in the back, motherfuckers, mate. It is Bacon Face. And he's with those two brothers. Don't just fucking stand there. Out of all these women in this show, and as much as I love Lagatha, I think Torvi's better. I think Torvi's better. Fuck off, Bacon Face. What are you gonna do, mate? How would you be being the king of Essex going, man, we're going up against all these guys and yet over in their home country, they've got all these spare guys, like all this other war going on. Or you just stand out there, man. Someone's gonna shoot you. Nice, now burn the rest of them. Don't shoot the people that are on fire. Jesus Christ, man. Everyone on this show sucks at strategy except Ragnar. 
He's the only one that didn't suck. No, you've got to make an example of this little bitch. So I'm a little bit tipsy. No! Fucking hell, man. Torvi's like one of my favourites, man. Why couldn't it have been Astrid? Oh. But she's an idiot flaunting that shit. Forget her. She's fucking she's fucking dumb doing that shit out in the open. And I don't want to hear any sexy shit like she should be allowed to do it if she wants. She's dead. It's not your fault you couldn't wait for me. Believe me, I knew nothing of this. He's a pussy bitch. Mm. He's dead. She's a fucking idiot, man. Like, yeah, fine, but don't go out in front of him, <laughs> smooching in front of him when you know he's a fucking psycho. Oh, I haven't thought of a torture thing like that. Mm. I have no time for games. Shut up, bacon face. We found your wife. Mate, he's a fucking dickhead. She'll probably be happy. He's done. Look at her. He probably treats her like shit, man, this piece of shit. She's got bruised, doesn't she? Have told her that I was paid by King Harold Fine her. Oh, oh dude, this is fucking going off, man. Just the scenery, the forests and everything just amazes me because I'm in Australia. And we don't really have forests like this. We've just got bush, it's just hardcore fucking bush. The messenger. Hey, for an older guy, this guy's spry as a motherfucker. This is the Eve. You plan to fight in a different way and surprise him. Obviously, this didn't just come to him. He's been thinking about it for a while. It's too late to change now. Who are you to say that? Shut your mouth. All you're saying is change tactics. To what? Let's investigate the battlefield. Yes. Perhaps if it works, it is a good plan. If it doesn't, then it is a bad plan. Oh, thanks for those words of wisdom there, Bjorn. Is that the talkative horse? What are you waiting for? I think it was. The horse was going, Yo, what's up everyone? Yo, follow me! Man, let's go kill these fucking brothers, mate. She'll be, she'll want to kill that guy for sure. She'll trap him. His brother's going, bitches be crazy, remember? No, he's got his hopes up. She, she fucking wants him dead, man. But this is a trap, I reckon. Yes. Ah. Well, those head tats are none on his face. Man, the production of this show is phenomenal. I hope we do see Magnus at some point. I would like to see him. All right, but we've got um, Iva. We've got Iva's strategy. Wait, and I don't. I'm not getting dressed up in the in the makeup and stuff for the Viking show anymore. But for the series finale, man, I'm going hardcore, man. So I think that's next week. I'm getting hardcore dressed up. I'm. I'm not gonna try to copy Flockies. I'm gonna do my own Duncan style, man. Duncan makeup, not Flocky makeup. And they're going uphill. Fucking hell, man. Guerrilla warfare, bitches. Turn around. Turn around. Oh, what, really, sir? Shouldn't we just keep facing this way and maybe reverse into them? <laughs> are they in a corridor of arrows? You guys get fucked up, mate. Especially if they're shooting arrows from both sides. I don't think they are. I think it's just from one side. And now hit them from the rear. When it becomes obvious it's the lost course, Athelwolf will fucking bail, man. Where's all this dumb shit, mate? Fuck on her, mate. I'd just shoot the fucker. But I tell you, mate, your men see you like this, 
That's how legends are born. If you win. Nah, no, they fucked you up with the strategy, brother. I <laughs> just keep pissing off. Not very good terrain for fucking chariot, man. Give me a break. That's busted a wheel 10 meters in. They're toying with you, man. Isn't it fucking obvious? Oh, now they're there. There they are, my lord. And destroy their ships. And we shall have the better of this battle. But we must move fast. And get them behind us. That is a terrible strategy. Where are they going? So that's an I imagine. Yep. Fuck the boats, man. Oh, shit. Now they're going to get fucked up. Oi, fuck a mad episode, eh? Mad episode. <laughs> oh, how the little piggies will squeal, huh? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm going to go get a drink. I've got to get a drink for this shit. Okay, well, that's the end of that episode. So there's one episode left. So all I have to say about that is strategy. Like when Atherwolf is like, okay, that's where their boats are. Let's go. It's like, what's in your end game? What's your goal? I mean, I'm talking military strategy that's been around for thousands of years since Sun Tzu. You know, always leave your enemy an avenue of retreat. It doesn't have to be an avenue of retreat as long as it appears to be an avenue of retreat. Because if you've got if, if you've got some people fighting and they're like, oh, that's it, we have to fight to the death, they'll fight so hard. But if they're like, okay, we can get away, we can get away through there, let them try for that and pick them off that way. But you can't have them saying it's fight or die. You have to have the enemy saying, it's fight, die, or retreat. Whether the retreat is a safe retreat or not, that's up to you. Ivor's plan worked out well, which is good, which is a proper plan, but it's not a genius plan. Like in this situation, it's great, but it's not a ge it's not like fucking Alexander the Great level thinking. It's just fucking basic strategizing it's not genius like alexander the great i mean like like alexander the great every single battle every single battle he fought he was outnumbered and every single battle turned into a rout where his men were just fucking executing everyone because he was a fucking he was like a Fucking like Mozart, he was like a Beethoven of war. Like, I like Ragnar, but he wasn't a Beethoven of war. You know, they say um, amongst men there'll be warriors, amongst warriors there'll be, I don't know how it goes, but you know, however it goes amongst fighting men, there'll be true born warriors. Amongst true born warriors, there'll be fucking great commanders. Among great commanders, there'll be, you know, you know, like it keeps going up a level. Ragnar Lothbrok was like, he was like a great commander, but, you know, you, you couldn't put him against Rome, against Sulla or Caesar. Even outnumbered, Sulla or Caesar would have crushed him. Ten to one. Ten to one. Give Ragnar, give any of these guys 10,000 men, Jeez, you give Caesar, Julius Caesar a thousand men, one thousand men against ten thousand them, mate. It, it will, it's a walk in the park. It's like what Sulla, who is my personal favorite guy from history, most interesting person from history. But Sulla, what? They sent a hundred thousand men against him, and he had something like eight thousand or nine thousand men against a thousand troops from Mithridates against Sulla. And what happened? He wiped out all one hundred thousand of them, and I 
think maybe like the Romans lost four people. They lost under 10 people. But I mean, <laughs> it's fucking insane, man. 100,000 versus 10,000 or less. 100,000 wiped out. And the 10,000, I mean the, th- the 10,000, whatever. They lost like, okay, I'll say under 10, but I'm pretty sure it was under five. Like four. They lost four. Four people and killed a hundred thousand. Dude, these fucking Vikings are not equipped. Although, if they went to Rome at this time, who knows how they would have gone? But I'm talking a thousand years earlier, they would not have gone very well. <laughs> but yeah, see, Flocky with that girl, like she's she's more scared of Flocky's wife. I forget her name. She's more scared of her because she's being obsessed over. You know, like, see how she was looking at Flocky? Like, yeah, you get what's going on. And Flocky's like, yeah, I get what's going on. Dude, a fucking bacon face attacking. Hmm, but I did think that was an interesting. They've got him on the spit roast. I hadn't thought of that before. Okay, I think next week they're going to fuck over everyone and win. And I think the first episode of season five will be King Eckbert getting fucked up. And what about his wife? What's her name? Julie? Julie? Or some shit? Not a big fan. I thought she was pretty cool when they first started cutting off her ear. She seemed pretty gangster. But man, 